guys you guys my baby has hand mouth and foot Hey guys, happy Mother's Day. Welcome to today's vlog. You can spend a few days in the life with me. I'm with all three of my kids, the people who made me a mom. And low-key, you guys, I'm out here writing Aaron's last minute, and I hate that. I hate that I'm so last minute. Derek was like, we should have ordered this stuff you wanted to get for your mom. You, you could have communicated this. And I'm like, yes, I know. This is a learning lesson. And learning lesson also not to invite your kids places when you have to do things on a time crunch. I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know what I was thinking. Keep your kids at home with their daddy. Don't let them don't let them come when you got things to do like today. So here we are running last minute. You know what? My sister's always the one that's like last minute, but um and like slow. But she's hosting today. She's hosting Mother's Day today. So we're gonna be late to her house today because I just got too much to do. Um yeah, so we're at our first stop. We're, wait, so we're at H E B to pick up a strawberry shortcake if they still have them. And then we're gonna go to Walmart because I low key don't have nothing to wear today. Like I just want like a simple dress. And Walmart would not be my first choice, but I have no time to go anywhere else to look for a simple dress. And Walmart is next door and I need to get other groceries. So we're gonna go to Walmart for that. And then I need to go to the Academy to get my mom a Stanley. Hopefully they have some cute colors. She wants a Stanley, so I'm gonna get that for her for her gift. And yeah, so those are our errands and I still gotta come home and cook the sweet potatoes, get everybody, we'll get myself ready. They don't get themselves ready. Gary can do that. And then we're gonna head to my sister's house. So come along while I run last minute errands because I am last minute. So let's go. So, oh, there I saw y'all. You wanna say happy Mother's Day? Happy Mother's Day yeah. to all the mothers out there. Mommy, do you think I still have the thing in my mouth? No. I think he listens. At least I hope so. Maybe to the last place, you guys. I'm ready to give up. So guys, of course, they don't have any of the regular Stanley for straws. They have this kind here. Jace, get off the cart. And this one. I don't know what to get. This has like a pretty lavender color. I think my mom might like the other one though. Get that one. I don't know, shoot girl. It's all a gamble. Huh? I don't know. I haven't seen it. Okay. He takes the red out before she loses it. Come on, Look at her. Look at her in a little bit. You can help me. So guys, Derek had cleaned up downstairs when we got home, so that made it much easier for me to start cooking. I'm about to have me a drink. A girl is stressed. I need to calm down because it's Mother's Day. It's relaxing day. I guess we're gonna be late, so. Making me a tiny little drink just to have a little fun. <laughs> Derek is back here laughing because he does not. He doesn't really drink. He's not a drinker. But we're gonna have a little something today. I'm gonna have a little Tito's and Sprite. We don't have no lemonade. Well, Tito's doesn't really go with lemonade, but we have some Sprite and Tito's. Yes. I know what I'm asking for next year for um, Mother's Day. After the kids give me gifts and 
and they said happy mother's day after that i am daddy for the rest of the day so whenever someone says mommy they're referring to Derek, and when they say daddy they're referring to me because you know they're gonna say daddy 10 million hey mommy 10 million times and daddy two times so next year i'm daddy for mother's day you like that lily then you're gonna have to wait longer for your mother's day. No, after you give me my gifts and you guys have your mother's day. After that, my name is, is daddy. I'll still be mommy, mommy but my name mommy, is daddy. It's happening. No. Yeah. It's happening. Mommy. What, baby? It's happening. Happy. Okay. One time. I have to light a candle for Soraya. We're lighting candles and singing happy birthday. Soraya always wants us to sing happy birthday since it's been Lily's birthday. Whenever she sees a candle lit. I think she just likes fire. Three, two. Just like me. One. I love fire. Happy which is not a good thing. Happy birthday to you. Cha, cha, cha. Happy birthday to you. Cha cha cha. Happy birthday, dear Soraya. Happy birthday to you. Are you one stop? You blow the candle? Are you gonna blow it this time? Wanna try? Go. Go. The 29th, right, Lily? Yeah. I was thinking it was the 28th, but you see it. It's the 28th or the 29th, but I'm pretty sure it's the 29th. Okay. Good. Let's blow it. You blow the candle? Blow the candle. Blow. kids school to pick up jace about an hour before school gets out because the nurse called he is sick he's having stomach issues um i picked up lily yesterday from school like as soon as she got to school because she threw up in her classroom she told me her stomach hurt before i took her and i gave her medicine but she couldn't describe how it felt and so she they, they called like maybe 40 minutes after she was there so she's at home right now too jace has stomach issues sunday but he wasn't throwing up or having diarrhea or anything. He said it hurts. But then Monday, it was fine. So he's been fine up until today. Today's Wednesday. And now he's having some issues. And my sister picked up her daughter from daycare because she had three explosive diapers. Soraya has been having some nasty diapers. So they just have this sick bug going around that they've been clearly passing between each other. I had planned on taking the kids to the park because Lily's feeling better. But she couldn't go to school today. Um, so now we're not going to the park, so I don't know what we're gonna do because I don't want to leave Jace, I don't want to leave Jace out and have him, him at home while I take Lily and Soraya to the park. So, yeah, I think I need to clean my house because this stomach bug is just running through all the kids, and I think I'm gonna like wash the sheets and blankets and lifestyle everything down, try to get rid of this stomach bug. Yeah, I have Lily. I had Lily on the Bratz diet, but um, she's been able to eat a little bit of food. She really doesn't have an appetite. Even though her stomach feels better, she doesn't have an appetite. So, and I don't know how Soraya feels, because you know, she can't say, but her appetite has gone down too, so. Well, you're taking forever. I'm a forever kind of girl. Okay, we're back in the car, guys. Uh. Jace, oh, uh. what is on me? Okay. Jace 
is not home. He's lounging around. His stomach is still on 10. Me, Lily, and Soraya are headed into Walmart. We're always headed into the store. But we're heading to Walmart to get some sick people things. We're going to get some Pedialyte. Soraya, Lily, and I. Crackers, things like that. And some things I can do some cleaning with because, yeah. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? All right, they're in such a rush to get out, so I'm gonna get them out. I'm gonna definitely get some bubbles because Soraya is obsessed with bubbles. And every morning when she wakes up, she asks about the bubbles. No lie, she cares about bubbles before she cares about saying good morning to me. So we're gonna get her some bubbles, which is gonna drive me insane. But we're gonna get them, and we need it. We can't spend too much time here because I do need to get back home to check on my baby to make sure he has not made a mess or not too icky. I did give him some medicine before he left, mm -hmm. but I did want to get him the Pedialyte and see what else I see that could, you know, be good for all their stomachs. So, let's go. Oh. So this is the kids' dinner for tonight. They are having noodles, apples, and saltine crackers. Whatever they can eat, they eat. And whatever they don't, they don't. I did put a little bit of bananas on Soraya's tray, and her apples are on her tray. I cut them like really thin. And then um, I'll probably give her a couple crackers too, but this is what they're gonna eat. I try to stick to the brat's diet. I did add some um, noodles in there because they don't really eat chicken noodle soup too much. Um, but they will eat ramen. So this is their dinner for tonight. So Derek ordered me and him some Chipotle. I'm going to eat, but I think first I'm going to get their stuff in the washer so I can, um, mm. I don't know if I should do it today or tomorrow. <laughs> She has little ones like that on her feet. You can't see those. Some under her, like, passy, like, on her, under her. Oh, she also has some under her lip, you guys. It started, like, big bumps by her diaper area. And I thought she had diaper rash from, like, having a stomach virus. Because she did have, like, a nasty diaper and it was everywhere. And so I thought her skin was just irritated. But the bumps started being in clusters and more so, like, on her thighs and her butt. So... Um, then it spread like little tiny bumps on her feet, her hands, and under her mouth. So then I'm like doing some research. I thought she had, um, I think she has hands, mouth, and foot, but I'm not really sure. So they told me to bring her in. So 
here we are. Lily did go to school today. Jay stayed home. He will be going to school tomorrow. But Saraya is now getting checked out. So we'll see what's going on with her. I have sick kids, guys. I need to know the lights out. Lights all down. Everything in the house. You guys saw me washing the kids bedding earlier. I'm going to wash their comforters next. We just wash their sheets first. I'm going to wash Saraya's sheets separate. I don't wash her stuff with their stuff. Um, but... Yeah, I'm going to have to get all the germs out. Okay, guys, we're about to head into the Y to go to Lily's volleyball practice. Um, Saraya does have hand, foot, and mouth. So I'll update you guys on that once we get back home. But I'm going to get her inside first. It's raining and Saraya's sleeping. So I think I'm going to bring out the stroller and all that. So I just wanted to let you guys know we're headed. Guys, my baby has hand, mouth, and foot. I cannot believe she has it. She's my one baby that has not been in daycare and the only one to get it. Um, I did learn a lot though. I did not know much about it. Just I just knew what I had heard in daycare before when I would pick like Lily and Jace up. If someone like in their grade or level of age had it or in their classroom, they would send home a little information sheet. So I didn't really know much about it because my kids did not have it before. Um, but they told me that Lily and Jace likely had it too. Um, they just don't really show the same symptoms. Usually like five or four to five and under. Um, they show it like in their hands a lot. Where, okay, hold on. So pretty much zero to two, to before two. The doctor said it should be called hands, mouth, foot, and butt. He said they're changing it but they're seeing, because you see it a lot in the diaper area for kids under two. Kids two and up, you see it a lot in their hands. And he said that it's common where Soraya has it because her really started like on her butt and her thighs. And it was just clusters of bumps and they were getting dark brown as like the time was going on as the days went by. I thought maybe it was just diaper rash. But... It was changing and they were getting flat and they were dark and I was like, this is not like diaper rash and they were circles and it was just like kind of growing. And then I noticed tiny bumps on her hands, feet, and I got desitin on me and her under her mouth last night. So that's what made me think, okay, maybe it's hands, mouth, and foot. And he said that older kids get it too, but they don't really show signs with the bumps. They just have like a, they just usually have diarrhea um, stomach ache, um, loss of appetite. I think he said fever, pretty much the same things my kids had this week. So, um, they probably all had the same thing, just that Soraya showed up differently. So I can't believe she got it because she doesn't go to daycare. I feel like I associated it with a daycare thing, but I guess he said it's just common in the summer. It's common in kids. Um, so that was new to know. Um, I have to just make sure she is, make sure we're washing our hands and stuff a lot. And it's nothing really you could do besides give her Tylenol to like help with any pain. Cause she doesn't have any in her mouth, but she said her throat looks a little red. Um, so luckily she doesn't have, does not have any in her mouth. So that's good. But, um, I really can just give her Tylenol and that's about it. He said I can keep applying Desitin as long as I don't notice it spreading. So. I'm glad I did take her to find out. But I did wash the kids' blankets and sheets and the Lysol sanitizing, like, stuff for the washer. I used to buy that all the time when my kids were in daycare to help keep the germs, like, out of the house. Now I'm going to go back to buying it um, so that I can keep the germs from spreading between the three of them. But I did wash their sheets in it. I'm not really sure if I'm going to wash the rays in it. I might and just do, like, an extra rinse on her sheets. Um just to help you know kill any germs but i do think i'm going to do like a sanitizing bath to all of her toys the ones that she can put in her mouth just to like cut back on those germs and then i'll probably wipe down all of the things like the remotes the doorknobs the things that are low that she touches all the time like the refrigerator stuff like that just to get rid of the germs and wipe off the kids stuff too with lysol wipes is she crying She's now asleep. I am about to turn on Bridgerton. The new season is on. I got me a little wine. I'm just going to relax. And tomorrow is Friday. So then I will dive into 
Lysol and cleaning and wiping and all of that. But for now, we're just going to chill out on the couch. So, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here. And I will see you guys next time. So, thank you so much for watching. If you're new and you did not subscribe and you enjoyed the vlog, please subscribe. Hit the like button and leave me a comment letting me know you were here and you're watching. So, see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching.